Lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. The most complex and expensive robot ever sent to Mars depends on a landing like nothing ever attempted before. You are going to get this safely onto the surface of Mars, right? That's the idea. As this NASA animation shows, the car-sized nuclear-powered rover named Curiosity will be lowered on cables dangling beneath a rocket-propelled platform. The landing team is led by Adam Stelzner. Somebody had to say, you got to be crazy. That's right. The first time it was uh, offered up, it was called Rover on a Rope, and the team said, that's crazy, and we put it aside. Previous rovers sent to Mars bounced onto the planet, wrapped in airbags. But Curiosity, 10 feet long and weighing almost a ton, is too big. Eventually, we came upon the Sky Crane, which we've come to really love quite a bit. Love, but it scares you as well. Yes, yes. The scary part begins as soon as the spacecraft enters the Martian atmosphere at 13,000 miles an hour. To slow it down, engineers created the largest, strongest supersonic parachute ever made. At 200 miles an hour, the rocket-powered brakes will switch on. And the sky crane will gently lower Curiosity to a pinpoint landing in a Martian crater. But if anything goes wrong, the two and a half billion dollar mission could be ruined. Jessica Samuels is on the rover's engineering team. We're looking forward to a fantastic landing. But a little tense, all the same. It will definitely be tense, but, uh, but it doesn't go without a nice big reward at the end. We've got this remote sensing mast, which will be able to give us our nice 360 degree panoramas. It'll be fantastic. The first images could come back to Earth within a half hour of the landing. Then, Curiosity will spend two years searching for evidence Mars was once capable of supporting life. You are an explorer. I am an explorer. I use robots to extend my and our human reach, but it's absolutely exploration. After suffering big budget cuts, NASA is hoping success for Curiosity will reignite enthusiasm for planetary exploration. But failure could leave NASA struggling to find support for other missions to Mars and beyond. John Blackstone, CBS News, Pasadena.